we're gonna definitely need to do a celebration of 400,000 subscribers. Let's go, girls. So this female right here is absolutely one of my favorite yellow foot tortoises. I mean, look at the colors of this girl. And he has these giant Aldabra tortoises right here. As you see right here, there's an egg right here, right here on the ground. All right, you guys, welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, what the plan is, is that I've been telling you guys before that I have not been able to produce any yellowfoot tortoises here on the ranch. We have an adult group of 2.8, meaning two males, eight females. So what I've decided that I'm going to do is I talked to some of my animal people, some of my tortoise people, and my buddy Sam from Florida Iguana and Tortoise Breeder has a very large group of LTC yellowfoot tortoises that he's had there at his facility so we're about to go there and pick up some adult males to put into my group of yellowfoot tortoises i'm thinking that i do not have enough males in there for them to fight and be happy and the reason why I'm fighting so that they can breed more of the females so that the eggs are more fertile and more better i got a few more clutches that are inside the incubator but i still do not think that they are fertile and that the males are doing the right job so I think this is what we're going to do is we're going to go to his facility, go purchase a few more adult males. So hopefully in the near future, we're able to hatch out some beautiful yellowfoot tortoises here on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, I would say to do so, please, because we're on the rise to 400,000 subscribers and it's going to be absolutely insane. We're going to definitely need to do a celebration of 400,000 subscribers. So put down in the comment what video ideas you think we should do. Let's just go to his house and uh, pick out some tortoises. Hold up one second. Actually, I'm going to go show you what we have real quick. Show you they're inside the enclosure. Well, it's their enclosure. The emus took over their enclosure as well. But the emus are just there until they get a little bit more bigger. They've been, I'll show you. They've been, take, they've been coming out of the enclosure now, running around in midday when it's not too hot. But as of right now, they're inside of there. And I'm going to go show you some of the yellowfoot tortoises real quick before we get to his house. All right, you guys, so all these freaking noises everywhere around the ranch. Yeah, we don't live in the middle of nowhere. We have neighbors and uh, people do things. So that's why there's noises. And then on top of that, we have armed animals making noises. But screw the noise. And uh, let's go inside of here real quick. And I'm going to show you a few of my yellow foots. And then we're gonna, what we're going to do now is go over there. So come inside. Good job, girls. Right here, we have a nice young female yellowfoot tortoise right here very heavy nice fat little girl right here and then we have two males as well in this breeding group we have some larger females as well i'm gonna grab a, one of my really nice ltc females that i have here and then i'm gonna show you how bright that one is so that's what we're striving for and that's what we're gonna look for when we go to his house so this female right here is absolutely one of my favorite yellowfoot tortoises i mean look at the colors of this girl she's completely completely yellow solid beautiful female yellowfoot tortoise right here i've had her for about five years now and i mean this girl right here lays me so many eggs but still nothing fertile so i think what i would like to do is find some very large males that will be able to breed this female very very well so hopefully we'll be able to have an insurance colony here on the ranch so that just in case let's walk somewhere else so what i was saying because they were really bothering me over there I would like to have an insurance colony here on the ranch because these tortoises are probably not going to be able to come into the country anymore and there's not that many people that I know. There's only a handful of people that are actually producing these tortoises. A lot of them are coming from the wild but no one's actually producing them. So I would like to have captive born animals here to give to the public and to give to other people so that we don't have to take from the wild anymore. But on top of that, laws and different things are changing all the time and you never know what could happen the next day. One day they could just stop everything and then nothing will come into the United States anymore. So then that's the reason why you need to have beautiful insurance colonies here in the United States so that these species are here for the whole entire time I'm alive and for our future kids and for everybody else in the whole entire world. So let's go to Sam's house, Florida Iguana Tortoise Breeders and we're gonna go pick out some beautiful yellowfoot tortoises to add to my yellowfoot group. So let's do it. All right, you guys, if you guys would like to purchase merch from me from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, these are all the different types of merch that we have right here. Every size available right now, you can DM me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram for USA buyers only. If you are over overseas, anywhere, in the, over wherever the heck in the freaking world, and you guys need to order, you guys can order off of Teespring. Teespring on the bottom of the videos, you guys can click the button and you can buy sweaters, shirts, all different colors and things of that sort, okay? And yeah, follow me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch to order some of your merch as well. All right, guys, so we just got here at Sam's house 
and I decided the three tortoises I'm picking out to add to the group. I got two males right here, this adult male, this other male, and then I saw this female here. I didn't need another female, but I decided that this female is so gorgeous that I was I had to take her home too. So we're taking her home and the two males to add to the 2.8 that we have at the house. So then it's gonna be a 4.9 that we're gonna have at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. So I'll see you guys once we get back home and introduce these back to the breeding group we have at home. All right, so I'll see you guys there. So right here, he has the yellow foot torches, correct? And then we come inside of here. And he has these giant Aldabra tortoises right here. Definitely gonna get some babies very, very soon. We lost mine that were inside the fire, inside the barn. And it's gonna be really cool to definitely purchase some more of these babies so that one day, about 30 years, they'll be this big. But some awesome giant tortoises, second largest tortoise in the world. You guys are amazing. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we just got home. And I like to make sure I scrub my tortoises off before I enter them into any new group, things of that sort. So we're just gonna clean them all up, line them nice and clean. We know they're gonna get dirty as soon as we put them in there, but just so they're nice and clean, all a lot of germs are off of them, things of that sort. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now, cleaning them up a little bit. All right, guys, so this is a giant female right here. She's a very large female. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's about probably 13 inches. And obviously, as you see, he marked her as 52. The other two males are in here, so what we're gonna do now, go back into the yellow foot enclosure. God, I just soaked my whole foot. And um, take these guys into the new tortoise enclosure. And yeah, hopefully we have some good fertility here on the ranch so that we're able to produce some beautiful yellow foot tortoises. So follow me along and let's get to the back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, listen to this. We got a freaking roadblock right here with a big boy named Willie. Um, situation. Willie, that way. Let's go. Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on, Willie. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. All right, you guys. So we're here in my yellow foot enclosure. And this is just for now because a lot of things will be getting destroyed, taken down, and getting redone because there's a lot of yellow fits in here and it is a pretty big enclosure. It's probably around 25 by 15, but it's definitely not what I like and I would like to go a little bit more wider, a little more bigger and yeah, make it more happy. So um, let's grab 52, big adult female yellow foot tortoise, big girl right here and introduce her right here. There you go, big girl. She's a ginormous girl. And then we have two males right here and these two males hopefully will get going these other males so they're going to want to start breeding everybody starts changing up and everybody starts going so that is the goal here today at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch and what we're going to do right now is I'm going to give you guys a post notification shout out let's see who the lucky winner is today so for today's post notification shout out is going to Morph D she says or he says not being funny you are amazing but like what is the tattoo above the zebra my mind is buggled all right ready you guys zebra otter Radiated tortoise, you don't need to see the rest. Show that another video. But if you guys want a positive comment, shout out, put a positive comment down below, you guys, to get shouted out on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video. Make sure you give today's video a thumbs up. Let's break over 10,000 likes today in today's video. We got one more yellow for tortoise right over here. We got big boy, red tag you, saying what's up. Let's get this beautiful guy right over here. Here you go, buddy. Go find some girls, make some babies for me, make some more yellow for tortoises here in our world, you guys two hours later all right you guys so it's been a few hours since i put the yellow foots the new yellow foots inside of the yellow foot enclosure i have the emus out because the emus are completely destroying the whole inside of the yellow foot enclosure and it is time for them to start moving out and going into another larger pin so we're just getting them used to getting them moved around a little bit but um, i want to go inside of here and go check out how the yellow foots are doing with this mid top heat because where they're at was a little bit more shady but um, we still have shade here, but not as much. People in the comments were talking about putting sprinkler systems and things of that sort. I'm definitely gonna do that and add, when I do new pins and things of that sort, I'm gonna add sprinkler systems here. But it's something really cool I wanted to show you before we go and see the yellow foots, they're all inside of the house because I don't see any of them here. I run a hose right over the fence into that little uh, natural little pond right there. So there's always clean water going through there every single day. But look at this, these tortoises normally lay 
inside of the ground they make little nest holes everywhere and they drop the eggs but as you see right here there's an egg right here right here on the ground it's probably not fertile because the emus have been knocking it over a lot and i've seen it for the last couple days and i didn't catch it in time for the first couple hours and i wasn't too sure so i just left it there whatever but yeah the yellow foots are inside of this house over here and that's the other reason why i wanted to get more males because if i get more males i know 100 percent these eggs that drop on the ground as soon as i see them i could collect them and they could, should be fertile if there's more males in here breeding with them if you look inside of here they're all in here cooling down because it's midday in here so we have a 4.12 now inside of here all the yellows in here they're all hanging out they're all chilling look at that burmese brown mountain tortoise all the females everyone's doing good 52 right there we got 77 over there all the females everyone's doing absolutely great but um, it's midday here more in the evening is when they all come out and they walk around and they graze and i throw them fresh greens and pellets and things of that sort that they love and then right there we have a nice beautiful guava tree that drops fruits as well and look the emus know that this is their house they want to come back inside but i'm gonna let them run around during the day and then at night we'll lock them back up inside of this enclosure just in case but um yeah everyone is doing good Yellowfoots are doing great as you guys can see and stay tuned and hopefully you guys will see another video coming soon put the post notifications on to see these emus getting real big see you guys soon put those post notifications on so you guys get notified every single time i post a video here on the ranch it's almost every single other day here on the ranch and i'll see you guys soon peace out everybody